dear students welcome to the class today the topic being undertaken is ester hydrolysis ester hydrolysis as we all know is the reverse of esterification esterification reaction a common and important reaction whereby an acid and an alcohol in the presence of an acid will form an ester and at the same time water is formed now the reverse of this in the opposite direction that is this in the presence of water catalyzed either by s yes, acid or a base will lead to the formation of the alcohol as well as the acid so it is just the reverse of esterification hydrolysis that is in the presence of water lysis will take place the breaking of the bond will take place so in order to the uh, lead to the formation of these products water needs to be an excess then only it will be driven in this direction hmm. so now this can take place in a number of ways we will be dealing with the mechanism now that is it can be acid catalyzed it can be base catalyzed at the same time it can be a, a breaking of this bond that is acyl oxygen bond or it can be a breaking of alkyl oxygen bond it can be sn1 it can be sn2 so the ones which are common today and the important ones we will be starting with one of them that is an aac2 mechanism aac2 mechanism implies that this is acid catalyzed and an acyl oxygen fission having molecularity 2 so this is the mechanism whereby what is happening that because water together with the acid will form these hydronium ions and since there will be an electromeric shift carbon oxygen electromeric shift so oxygen negatively charged carbon positively charged with the result what will happen because this carbon is positive charge over here so the hydrogen will attack where o negative see there are two oxygens one oxygen carbonyl oxygen and the other is ro hydrogen will attack tend to attack not this but this not here but here why because this is the oxygen which is negative whereas this oxygen over here when this becomes o negative this will form a double bond with this carbon so therefore this will not be available for the attack by h positive since it will form a double bond over here and this will be forming a carbon oxygen oxygen negative huh? so oxygen negative will be the one which will be attacked rather than this oxygen so and uh, what happens when this is attacked carbonyl oxygen this leads to the formation of this oh that is now oxygen is got a positive charge h positive from here will attack this this how is this formed because this is formed because there is acid and there is water so these hydronium ions are formed so this will attack here as a result of this now oxygen gets a positive charge and we know that a positive charge on oxygen is not a stable condition so therefore this will tend to form these few these resonance hybrids which i have indicated here but because this oxygen will try to stabilize itself as a consequence of this what will happen as a result of this this will shift in such a way so that this charge these are the resonance stabilized structures so that this charge positive now the double bond has changed to a single bond so obviously carbon will get the positive charge at the same time this positive charge can also be balanced by the lone pair of electrons which are present on this oxygen so this will give the lone pair of electrons here and form a double bond as a consequence of this this oxygen will get a positive charge this other oxygen will get a positive charge 
so what will happen is because now carbon is positive because oxygen positive is not tolerated why because oxygen is by nature electronegative so carbon positive here will now be attacked by water this will this requires a nucleophile nucleophilic attack right because this is having shortage of electrons one bond is less so h2o here the oxygen on it the lone pair of electrons because this is hydrolysis taking place in the presence of water the lysis is taking place so this will attack over here as a result of this this h2o now it's given its lone pair when it attacks this so it will get what charge it will get a positive charge now this is getting a positive charge the oxygen again an unstable condition see uh, continuously once h positive started attacking the reaction is being driven forward so what will happen h this h2o we know as a neutral molecule it can escape but how what will happen because otherwise it will lead to a backward reaction so we need the reaction to move forward h2o is now present and this h2o in order to remove this positive charge again the oxygen basic will pull oxygen nucleophilic rather the, so this will pull this hydrogen electron from here taking this positive charge with it this will lose the electron pair and h positive will come here as a result of this we will get two ohs oh here and an oh was already here so h2o is now being changed to h3o the positive charge has shifted from this to the water hydronium ion now here we have got what two oh is equivalent and now this or or in order to change this into a good leaving group what should be done in order to change this to a good leaving group the same fundamental is applied same chemistry that is oxygen if it gets a positive charge it will behave as a good leaving group because it will pull this electron pair so this h positive which escaped from here now attacks this oxygen and this will be r dash o h so the positive charge will be shifted from this here to this r o h this oxygen as a result of this this oxygen will become positively charged once this becomes positively charged therefore it will pull the electron pair towards itself from the carbon and it will be helped by the electron pair that is present on oxygen since it is pulling these electrons carbon will become electron deficient so it will tend to pull the electron pair which is present on this oh it can be this or this either of these two oh's they are equivalent as a result of this what will happen h r o h this will leave in other words r alcohol r dash oh leaves r what has been formed r alcohol has been formed once this alcohol has been formed then the how will this uh, carbon stabilize itself it will stabilize itself by virtue of the pair of electrons which were present on the oh so this will get a positive charge this oxygen now this oxygen gets a positive charge we know this is what this is the acid which is protonated and now in the last step this protonated acid h positive will be because pulled out because oxygen positive is pulling electrons from hydrogen so this bond becomes weak and this when attacked with this uh, oxygen lone pair on water which acts as the nucleophile will pull this h positive from here and we will get our carboxylic acid and as we have seen because this is acid catalyzed so we started off with an acid h positive and we ended with an h positive since h positive is just a catalyst it is just catalyzing the reaction by activating it how as we saw from the initial from the start that this r c o o r dash was attacked by as a seen over here it was attacked by the h 
positive to give us this protonated ester thereby making this reaction or activating this reaction from then on once the oxygen got the positive charge which by means of these resonance stabilized structures we can see that carbon has now because oxygen is get, getting a positive charge so it will pull the electrons from carbonyl carbon so carbonyl carbon will get a positive charge these are the three respective resonance stabilized structures hmm. so carbon positive because oxygen positive is not a very good scene oxygen is electronegative carbon positive therefore out of these two here this water with the oxygen lone pair will attack this carbon positive and the reaction proceeds forward because we get h2o attached to this carbon and how can this positive charge be removed simply again by eliminating h positive by means of water we will therefore be getting two equivalent hydroxy groups now two equivalent hydroxy group with an r dash o this r dash o is changed to a give good leaving group by h positive which was earlier on eliminated from here with the help of water this is water so this h positive now attacks this r o makes it a good leaving group and we get our r dash o h that is our alcohol and at the same time we get a protonated acid why because oh leaves so valency of carbon is decreased so it tends to form a double bond with this oxygen now this is again with the help of water h positive is removed from here and we get our acid as the final product so two products are formed acid as well as alcohol this is aac2 fission has taken place between the acyl oxygen hmm acyl carbon and oxygen how so it is known as acyl oxygen fission here because for this uh, i have uh, just stated it in two ways the uh, some evidences if this is labeled the ester which is which end is labeled the end which we've got from alcohol r dash o 18 if this oxygen is labeled we will see that the bond is breaking from here because it is the alcohol the alcohol is the one which is get which has this labeled oxygen indicating that the bond between acyl oxygen bond is the one which has broken it is not the alkyl oxygen because had it this been broken then this oxygen would have been found this labeled oxygen isotopically labeled so this would have been found in the acid this is found in the alcohol so this is one evidence and the other very good evidence is a stereochemical evidence that if we take uh, our ester such that the alcohol portion that is r o dash o is uh, chiral so if this is this end is chiral we can see it is chiral r1 dash r2 dash h and o so four different groups attached and since this bond is breaking the chiral carbon is left intact in other words the chirality of this carbon will not be affected so therefore the same stereochemistry as is present in this ester over here will be found in the alcohol which is formed this is because the this carbon oxygen bond has not been broken the bond which has been broken is between this carbon carbonyl carbon and this oxygen and more so there, therefore this is called an aac2 reaction this is all for today